inflation risk so what is inflation it is general rise in prices of commodities inflation erodes the purchasing power of money so what it is say for example 10 years back you could have bought 2 pence for rupees 10 and today you can buy only 1 pen for rupees 10 so with the same 10 rupees you can buy only lesser number of items today so it means that the value of 10 rupees decreases over a period of time due to rise in prices of commodities that's why we say inflation erodes purchasing power of money and see the third point nominal rate of return so what is nominal rate of return it is the returns which we get from a particular investment product and we do not take into account the inflation factor so such a rate of return is known as nominal rate of return and what is real rate of return it is the return after adjustment for inflation so let us understand this with an example let's say you invest in one year bank fixed deposit and the bank offers 8 percentage interest for the same and during the same one year the inflation stands at 6 percentage that is the general rise in prices is 6 percentage okay now here what we get from bank that is 8 percentage it is called as nominal rate of return and what is the inflation it is 6 percentage so we reduce inflation from the nominal rate of return so that is nominal rate of return is 8 percentage inflation is 6 percentage so we reduce inflation from nominal rate of return so 8 percentage minus 6 percentage that is 2 percentage this is known as real rate of return so real rate of return is the return after adjustment for inflation a nominal rate of return is without factoring the inflation so this we have to understand and the examination point of view uh, you can expect like uh, what is real rate of return or what is the rate of return after adjustment for inflation okay or what is nominal rate of return so you can expect questions like this type.